Hey everybody, welcome to the random game on shrinking. If you're new to this channel, one of the things I like to do here is take old games that are sealed, open them up, see what's inside, and then check out some gameplay as well. If you're new to the channel, that sort of thing interests you, you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now and click the notification button so you can be notified next time I do a video like this, which is usually pretty often. The game I have here today is called Eraser Turnabout, and it's a very obscure, full motion video, I think adventure game, based on the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Eraser. If you remember that movie where he goes like, you just be erased, you know that that one? <laughs> Not the, my best Schwarzenegger impersonation, but um, this game is based on that movie, and I've never seen a box copy before. I've seen the jewel case a couple of times, but the box copy seems pretty, I don't know rare is the right word, but definitely obscure. It says here, it's the exciting sequel to the hit movie that puts you directly into the video action. You are United States Marshal John Kruger, or Krieger, the eraser assigned to protect government witnesses who testify against dangerous criminals and stop the criminals' latest actions. And the problem is a leak in the Federal Witness Security Program and someone in your own unit is sharing critical information with the bad guys. The hard part, anyone can be the mole, your partner, your mentor, your best friend, hopefully not my best friend, your formal girlfriend, your psychiatrist, you know, etc. And then it shows you, you there's some, some action scenes, you shoot it out with professional assassins, and then there's full motion video, there's uh, some puzzles, you, you use tools to uncover the trader, using uh, technology tools, stuff like that. So it basically looks like an adventure game with some action elements. Like I said, never seen a box copy before. Um, this one, unfortunately, is a little bit torn open already. And the, the shrink wrap feels like it could be a rewrap anyway. Um, it's very sort of uh, brittle, and I'm not really sure. But it doesn't matter because... I just want to really a box copy. So let's open it up. I don't need a knife. This whole thing is already torn. Let me just tear the rest of it off all the way, and we'll see what's inside. Let's see what's inside the box. Open up the box already. What are you waiting for? Come on, get to the chopper. All right, sorry. I mixed the other Arnold movies here. Let's see what we got inside. All right, so it's a cardboard insert. Not, not too exciting. And it looks like there's a shrink-wrapped... CD thing in here. This is cool. So that's basically it. Nothing else inside. Um, now, I've never seen this because the jewel case copies I've seen were literally just a jewel case with a CD inside. I've never seen this digipack before. It's also shrink wrapped in a way that feels like it's not original shrink. But maybe they were just really cheap when they actually made it. When I open this up, I got the CD. Oh, there's two CDs. Did I have two CDs before? I don't remember. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Even if assuming I did, I definitely did out of this digipack. They, this one looks good. This one looks good as well. They both look unmarked. It looks like there's a manual in the middle. It's like a very cheap manual. <laughs> Is that it? Literally? Wow. Field Agent Survival Reference Guide 01. Video Navigation. Interesting. So video navigation. Another paper that says reference card 003. Character profiles. I don't see Arnold Schwarzenegger on here. I guess they didn't pay him to be in this game. And reference card 002. Shooting environments. And literally that is it. There's no other manual. No installation guide. I don't see anything like that. Uh... Nothing else in here, I don't think. Yeah, that's it. Um, nothing on the backs of these things. So listen, it could be that I'm missing some piece. It could be I'm missing a manual, but honestly, I don't think so. I think this game is just so cheap and so obscure. They probably paid for the movie license and they had no more money for anything else afterwards. And it probably just didn't come with a manual except for these three pieces of paper. I mean, it seems really odd, but I don't really have another explanation. So I'm going to try to get this game running. We'll see what happens. If you, if you know anything about what's supposed to come in here, if you think there's supposed to be something more in these three reference cards, then please let me know in the comments. But for now, I'm going to assume this is what it is, and let's check out the gameplay if, if I can get this thing to run. <laughs> so here we have Eraser, Turnabout, and uh, it was really difficult actually to get this game to run under Windows 10. Um, just like another game I played recently, it has a 16-bit install program, so the install program would not run under modern Windows. We all move on. But we were wrong. Dead wrong. So 
I'm not sure if that's a scene from the movie or not. I don't remember. It's definitely not the ending scene of the movie, because that one, Arnold Schwarzenegger gets these guys in a limo, hit, hit, get hit by a train, if I remember correctly. But anyway, I was saying, um, the game unfortunately doesn't run properly with those 10, and it's an obscure game. I had a hard time finding anybody that had uh, like any, any assistance for how to run it. So what I did was I'm running it on Windows 98 in VirtualBox under Windows 10. So it actually technically is Windows 10, but I had to jump through a bunch of hoops to get to run. And unfortunately with the VirtualBox, uh, the sound cuts out sometimes and starts looping. So I hope it doesn't happen during this playback. If I try to skip the full motion video, that uh, tries to that tends to prompt that to happen, so I'm going to try to not do that. But you see here a whole bunch of weird uh, stuff and uh, the credits as well. I looked up this game a little more after I opened the box. It looks like it's a little more of an action game um, than an adventure, but there definitely are some adventure elements. I think it starts off more action-y, and this part's interesting here. Men wear masks on which they carve portraits of what they would like to be, or think they ought to be. Opportunity, like fortune, does not change a man. It unmasks him. What is under the mask may surprise you, as it often surprises the man, but it is always there. Usually they're talking about masks now. You know, everyone's wearing masks outside, so it's a little timely there. All right now we see finally the the uh, logo of the game, a racer turnabout, and then I believe it starts off with a choice. So a mouse control here. Main controls are practice. Let's do main controls. Let's do new. So, witness mission briefing, witness safe side compromise, looks like it's in New Jersey. And uh, there's a bunch of terrorists or something trying to kill these, these witnesses under the witness protection program. So I have to basically f shoot them with my mouse. And there's a guy up there. Now, for some reason, the sound completely cuts out. I don't know why that is. I don't hear any type of sound in this part of the game. I don't know if it's supposed to be sound or what. I don't know if the radar... I guess the, in the game there was like these glasses that could sort of see through walls. So maybe that's what this is telling me. It's telling me where the, where the bad guys are. Um, I don't really see anything where it's showing me something. Oh, i got to move over to the left here. I have to pan over. Now I can see this guy throwing something at me. Uh, and there's the guy in the window. All right, so that's like the radar showing me what's going on. I just shot through a wall, and the game froze up, or I died. I didn't freeze up. <laughs> All right, so I didn't realize I was taking damage. Where did the sound go? The sound completely disappeared. All right, let's try this again. So, after a very long amount of work, I basically decided to to basically start completely over because VirtualBox sucks, apparently, and it cannot actually really do a good job of hosting the Windows 98 environment. So I'm using PCM now, and I built a Windows 95 machine from scratch on PCM, and this thing is running in PCM fine. The only issue is my computer is not super fast, so uh, well, <laughs> it's, it's hard to emulate this, actually. It requires MMX, so I need to use at least a Pentium MMX 166, which is the lowest Pentium MMX, and that's problem number one. And then just the access to the CD drive takes a lot of time, so I ended up making an image of the CD to make it faster. So this is as fast as I can make it right now, emulated, and it'll actually work, but it might be a little bit of a slowdown. And, and, and the problem is I suck, because it's really hard to shoot people with a mouse. I, I really was good at light gun games in the arcade, but like, to, to, hit, to hit like... Man, you just hit that ammo is difficult. So one thing I found out which is helpful is there's a cheat key called which is Control w it lets you skip the whole scene if you're if you're blowing it like I am right now. I'm going to ammo even. The only way I can hit these guys is if I like have the cursor basically waiting for them. And even then I miss half the time. See that guy threw like a freaking grenade at me. One more of those and I'm done. Alright, so at least I took that guy out. Uh, the guy broke the window. A little bit of a... I think I got him. There's a guy on the roof that throws some more crap at you, like freaking, yeah, like an RPG. I'm just going to skip this. I did control W to win. I you need to practice this and really learn, you know, what's going on here. But I use control W to get past it just so I can show you the next part of the game, which is even crazier. <laughs> it's basically all FMV. I don't know what you're supposed to be doing in this particular screen here, but this is like the building you're going to infiltrate. It says hit the space bar to continue. And now you see, like, it starts as FMV, like, first-person FMV mode, where it's similar to, like, an arcade light gun shooter, I guess, as well. But 
it's impossible to freaking aim. I guess you have choices where to go for a second. I, I think I actually picked something different because last time I went, I went down the stairs and a grenade got thrown at me and I was killed. But like, I can't move the mouse fast enough to shoot guys in like half a second. They gotta give you like a freaking like opportunity to hit them. You see, look at that. I, I, I was almost right there, <laughs> but I died. <laughs> I died right away. I'm gonna try this one more time just so you can get a hang of it. But like, I need to like figure out if there's a way to actually connect a light gun to this game. And if there is, then all well and good. But if there's no way to connect a light gun to it, then, I mean, it's just a matter of, like, honestly, it's going to be like, at the end of the day, one of those, like, arcade games where you have to know where they're coming from first and then figure out how to hit them before they hit you. And that is not, like, so much fun. So I'm going to skip this part this time right away. I'm just going to do Control w to win once it lets me get in. And, uh... Then I'm going to try to do something different in the FMV. And it's already the audio skipping a little bit because it loads off even the virtual CD-ROM. Alright, so let me do Control w I wish every game had a key like that, Control w and I, I mean, honestly, that would be no fun at all. Alright, let's see what we have here this time. This time I'm not going to click anything in the beginning. And I think that makes you automatically go to the left. And down some stairs, where last time someone threw a grenade... That exploded and killed me. And that's probably going to happen this time too, just, just to give you some fair warning. But I'm at least going to give a shot at it here. Alright, so I'll do nothing. I did nothing. Alright, so you decided to go to the left for whatever reason. So you can pick which way you go, but if you do nothing, he decides to pick a direction on his own. Try the door here. He went down some stairs. And then someone throws a grenade right at the bottom of this, the landing here. And I try to shoot it. And I knew it was coming, and I still couldn't get it. So, bottom line is, this is a game which might be good in some parallel universe, but for right now, it's basically unplayable. And this is after I spent so much freaking time getting it to run a, mod a modern machine. I basically built a Windows 95 box from scratch under PCM. And I'll probably make a video on how to do that separately, because if you want to get games to run, sometimes you got to do, like, hardcore stuff. But that's, not, that's, that's for a different day. In the meantime... Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to play this game again, but like, I think it requires masochism to get very far. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Very curious if you've played this before or not, and what you guys think. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hope to see you again soon with a better game. But for now, I am out of here. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.